Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we want to ask the Lord to cleanse us hey. from the sins of omission. Mm. In, in Scripture, you know, we learn to have two types of sins. Sins of commission and sins of omission. Mm. So the sins of omission are things you have omitted to do. Mm. You, you, you left them out. And the sins of commission are things you did that you shouldn't have done. So I want to pray, Lord, whatever. Yes. Let's first pray for sins of omission. Omission. I mm. should have done this. But I have not done it. And I didn't yes. do. Or I did, but I didn't do it enough. Let's pray right now. Father, yes. we are praying, saying, forgive me. Forgive for me, sins Lord. Of forgive me. Omission. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's pray mm. to ask God to forgive us for the sins of commission. Commission. Omission is what you have omitted mm -hmm. to do, and commission is what you've done. Oh. That is not the right thing to do. Lift your holy hands. Yes. Father, thank you for mercy. We mercy, pray. Lord. Yes. And we confess yes. things that we have done mm. that we shouldn't do. Jesus, pray I right now. Lift your hand and Tell wherever you are, Makasa. in your house, yes. in your home, yes. uh, uh, rise up now. Oh, it's time Kasi. to wake mm. up. It's mm. time for flow prayer Kaso meeting. We are praying yes. for God to forgive us. God to forgive We've us. Done something. Hey. Shouldn't have done it. Talo God is having mercy. Lord have mercy. God is showing mercy. Show us mercy. God is showing mercy. Show us mercy. Lord. Lord. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Now, mm. the few times, I want you to call your friend, your neighbor. It's uh, three something in the morning yes. in Ghana. I don't know what time it is where you are, and I don't know what time you went to sleep. But it's time to get up so that we pray yes. fervently for a short period. Wow. And that's it. We are in December, hey. and I'll be announcing to you when flow prayer meeting is going to go off oh, during the nice. December period. Nice. In a few, so this may be one of the last sessions before we go on a break. So it's good that you pray. Yes. Should in case hey. this may be help, able to help you during the <laughs> flowless season. <laughs> Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, we are praying for forgiveness. Uh -huh. On the few occasions that I have visited prisoners, I realized that prisoners had only one problem. Yes. Like every prisoner has one problem. Mm. To be forgiven for his wow. sin. Wow. Yes. Like everything would change if what they did was like um, overlooked mm. or forgiven. And perhaps in our lives, everything would change wow. if our sin was forgiven. Yeah. yeah. And we were not held as guilty for some of the things we've done. So when we are praying for Forgiveness. There are people who feel, oh, I don't know what I've done. It does apply. It applies to sm uh, people who are smoking. It applies to smokers. <laughs> it applies to drug addicts. No, really. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't apply to those who have woken up to pray. Hey. No. <laughs> so that's why I'm, I'm saying we are praying for forgiveness. Hallelujah. We just jumped into forgiveness yes. why not? straight away. And we're asking God, number one, to forgive us for the sins of omission. Mm. You know, in law, they have what they call ne neglect. Mm. As in neglect, yeah, negligence, negligence. There's a, a lot of things come under that crime. Wow. You, you didn't do what you should have done. Yeah. And then number two, we have asked God to forgive us for the sins of commission. Now, number three, we want to pray for God to forgive us for the sins of our youth. <laughs> yeah. It's a special group of sins. Amen. Amen. Psalm 25 and verse 7. Oh. 
says, remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake. You know, even the memory of your sin can change things. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yes. So, brothers and sisters, the sins of your youth, you know, some of us have been very bad. (laughs) Now we are waking up to pray, pray at flow prayer meeting. But some time ago, at this time, where you'll be lying, we can't discuss it on on holy ground. So when you pray that, Lord, whatever I have done. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. In my youth. Mm. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Some of the things we've done, if they are brought up and an eye for an eye is applied or a tooth for a tooth. Huh? I don't know whether we'll be happy. Will you be happy? No, no, no. No, we'll not be happy. So I want us to make special mention of our mistakes and sins of our youth. Every standing, please. I need you to be standing now. Every standing. God is hearing our prayers. Amen. In this time, we are praying for the sins of my youth. Mataka barandola mama baba. Yes. Malo mandeda bakete bere. Father, thank you for your power. Yes. That is at work in Jesus' name. Thank you for forgiveness for the sins of our youth. Mm. Ah. Mm. We are delivered from it. We are delivered in the name of Jesus. We are set free. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, we are praying for the fourth category of forgiveness. Wow. Amen. We are praying to ask God, you know, what are the sins of your youth? Somebody may ask. You know, what sins do young people commit? Mm. Usually, it's a little different from older people. Young people, our sins are more fleshly Mm. from our feelings and desires and lusts. That's what the Bible says, flee youthful lusts. So there are lusts and desires which generally tend to fade. Do you get it? They tend to reduce. So you'll be surprised that your desires go down. One time I met a a man who was not married. Um, He was about a little over 50 years old. And I asked him, because he was a pastor, and I asked him, don't you have feelings? And he said to me, the feelings reduce as you get older. So I asked him when he was going to marry. He said, no, no, I will not marry. Yeah, so when I die, uh, I have nothing. I, own, I don't owe anybody anything. When I die, they just throw my body away and I go to Jesus. I have no, no responsibilities. I stay with my sister. Yes. He said, I stay with my sister. I have nothing. I have nobody, no responsibility. When I die, just my body, of, I'm free. The desires, I've had a desire, but it's less. Yeah. So when we talk of youthful lusts, youthful sins, there are sins that you do. Sometimes you look back and realize you were mad. You were what? Mad. Mad. (laughs) Hallelujah. Now, we are going to the category four of sin that we want forgiveness for. Do you want forgiveness? You can stay in your house and don't ask for forgiveness. If you like. We are praying for sins that are continuing. Mm. I want to use the word continuing because I don't want to use a medical term. The medical term of abuse is chronic. Mm. It's chronic. But let's use an English word. Continuing. Romans 6 verse 1. Shall we continue in sin? (laughs) Uh, Shall we do what? Continue in sin. That grace may abound. Whatever is lingering ah, yeah. on, mm. eh? never going away. 
Have you seen a lizard that doesn't go out of your house, a wall gecko? <laughs> and you thought you killed it, but it's alive. It was only the tail that you got. Every continuing lizard in your home, in your life, is ending. Amen. You know, like the song we were singing there just a few minutes ago, Shepherd, loving shepherd, I couldn't say what people wouldn't understand if I talk about it. Do you see? There are a lot of things like that. They continue because the devil deceives you to stay hidden. And as you stay hidden, your problem becomes more. Multiplied confusion comes to add to the problem. So we are praying. Are you there? Yes. Uh, Are you watching? We are praying for things that are continuing. Yes. Shall we continue in sin? Huh? You know, certain things must end. Amen. Yes. Yes. Yesterday, I got a message from a brother. He told me, he said, one day I said to him, a time will come where you will say, ah, I can't remember the last time I looked at pornography. Oh. Yeah, he said that when you said it, I, I could not imagine that such a day could come. He said, but today, I can't remember the last time I looked at pornography. Wow. It doesn't come to my mind. Beautiful. So there are things that must end. Amen. They are not allowed to continue mm. as part of you in the name of Jesus Christ. So everyone stand in place for this time of forgiveness. Yes. What do you think? Powerful. What do prisoners need? Forgiveness. And their life will change suddenly. Every prison you are in, you are coming out. Amen. Lift your holy hands. Jesus. Forgiveness. Come forgiveness, Lord. Anything that is continuing, ah, yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We say, Lord, it cannot continue, it cannot continue. from today. Yes. We confess it, Lord. Oh, tough, we Lord. speak to you secretly yes, yes, about yes, it, yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Now, we are going to pray for number five. Mm. I hope you are praying along with us for forgiveness. We are going to pray for God to forgive us for sins that have piled up. Piled up sins. What is that? Pile of sins. It has gone on for so long that the things have piled up to heaven. I'll show you a verse. It says, This, for of this sort, 2 Timothy 3 and verse 6, are they which creep into houses and lead captive, silly women laden with sins. The word laden is a word piled up. Yes. A woman whose sins have piled up plenty. Maybe it has has gone on for years. Led away with diverse lusts. So whatever has piled up, mm. now as it piles up, you give up. And you say, this one there, if I say it, too bad. <laughs> so any form of piling up, Hallelujah. and that's what Satan wants to do. Do you know that if you've done something for one year, is less uh, of a trouble than if you've done it for five years? Because people will ask, how long have you had this pain? So, oh. It's just last week. Okay. How long have you had this? One year. Mm. You get it? So, piled up. Silly women. Laden. I'm not inventing things. These are written there. Please. Don't get angry with me. Get angry with the Bible directly. And leave me out. I'm, the thing says, silly women laden with sins, like piled up 20 years, 15 years, 12 years, 11 years. It's become a big pile. And it's worse than if it was one year. It's worse than if it was three years. But even this is mentioned in the Bible. Silly women laden with sins. Mm. 
So whatever has piled up. Yes. Now my satoba. Hey Jesus. 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 Whatever has piled up. Yes. Piled up. Piled up. Piled up. Hey. Lord, deliver us from it. In the name of Jesus. Forgive us for it. Forgive us for it. Cleanse us. Cleanse us. Lift your holy hands. Oh God. Pray. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Mm. Father, thank you for your blessing. Yes, Lord. For number six. We want to pray for forgiveness for every sin that has overcome us. Wow. Yeah. What do I mean? You know, the Bible says in Romans 12 and in verse 21, it says, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. You know, some, some of the problems, we can see that, yeah, that this one has overcome me. Yes. Yes. It has overcome me. Now, what is the sign that a sin has overcome you? What is the sign? What sign is there in your life? Do you see? Yes. How many want to know the sign that a sin has overcome you? But it says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Overcome evil. Overcome evil. Overcome evil. Overcome it. Amen. Yes, it should not overcome you, but you should overcome it. Amen. And there are some things, sins, that have overcome us. So I want to show you the master signal that something has overcome you. Wow. Yeah. Do you want to know? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. No, you're looking sleepy. Hey. You really want to know yes, yes, whether yes. something has overcome you? Yes. I don't feel like telling you. Let's hey. pray. Let's Why pray you? that we should overcome evil and overcome evil with good. Because your sleepy looking eyes <laughs> have overcome me. Oh. So, because of your sleepy looking eyes, I'm overcoming. I'm not able to share with Mercy. you the secret of when something has overcome you. So, for now, my spirit is not going to share with oh. you. So let us pray that we should every sin that has overcome us. <laughs> Jesus, we are being set free. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Lift your hands to the Jesus. Lord. Jesus. All right. I'm going to show you now. Wow. I feel like telling you what I, I said I wasn't going to tell you. Second Peter 2 verse 19. Mm. It says, mm -hmm. while they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome. Of the same he is brought in bondage. All right. Maybe another version may help you. A little, another version. All right. It says, by what a man is overcome. Mm -hmm. when, in other words, when something overcomes you, by this he is enslaved. Wow. You see, when, when you have victory over something, yes. in, the, in the olden days, you make, then you make them your slaves. Wow. So if, if I over, I've, I've overcome you, I make you my slave. So when a sin has overcome you, hey. it makes you its slave. Work for me. You can't do what you want anymore. Wow. When I say smoke, you smoke. Start smoking now. <laughs> then you start. Start drinking now. Then you start. You get it? Yes. yes. Start uh, fornicating. Hey. You are my servant. Start now. And because he has overcome you. So he makes you his slave and puts a chain and says, you are mine. So anything you are in bondage to has overcome you. It's something that has overcome you. That's why mm. you can't walk away from it. Wow. Look at your phone. 
your pornography, your boyfriend, you can't go, your heart, you know, I know it's wrong, I know it's wrong, but you go back. And you are overcome. Yes, you have become a slave. Any boy who has made you a slave, oh, yeah. it's, not a, it's not, you can only be in bondage to Christ. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it means he has overcome something in you. A man, a boy, a girl. Mm. Huh? Yes. A sin. So everything that you are bound to today in the name of Jesus, Father, every sin that has overcome yes, us, Lord. we ask you for forgiveness, forgiveness and help. And help. Grace to help me Castle to come fire. out of anything that wow. has enslaved. Jealousy. You just hey. start being jealous. You start gossiping. You start backbiting naturally. You just a natural word, backbiter. It's like you like the back meat. You know, we have what we call pork belly. It's like you, 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 you want the belly. You want the back. When the person is not there, then you speak. You bite the back. And there are some people who are in bondage. Anybody at all, they will, they will bite the person's back. I've rarely found somebody who bites my back. Who didn't bite somebody else's back in my presence. Yes, but maybe I didn't notice. Because I was inexperienced. But you notice that a person who bites your back bites other backs in your presence. Because it's helpless. The person can't help it. It's normal. He's been overcome by it. It's in bondage. Every sexual slavery, homosexuality is like that. You see that you you see that you, you, you here is a beautiful girl I don't like. This is what I like. I see. Something else. Wow. That's a beautiful girl. And you, you see that if you can get such a person to commit fornication, it's an achievement. That's fornication with, a, with a, 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 a lady. It's an achievement. Yes. If you can get them to desire a girl, it's an achievement. Yeah. You even wish the person would come and tell you, ah, I fell in love, in love with the girl. It's, 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 whatever has made you Aya. bound, mm. do you see? Yes. You can't walk away. Yes. Slaves cannot walk away easily. Wow. You are here for life. Aya. Go and watch this film, Ben Hare, wow. and you see what is a slave, Ben Hare. Mm. Yeah, you can't just go. You are mine. Let's rise up in the spirit this Hallelujah. morning. I don't know why we are praying all this prayer, but I'm sure there's a good reason. Yes. I receive it. Any, yes. any slave yes. in this prayer meeting yes. is being in the name of Jesus. asked to go home. Yes. In Jesus' name. Lift your hands. Yes. Kambara, mm. Now, the last forgiveness. Yes. You, know, you know why forgiveness is powerful? Mm. If you are a prisoner, and you've committed murder, if only what you've done can be forgiven, overlooked, omitted, erased. That's the only miracle you need. You don't need a Benz. Do you need a Benz? If you've stolen and you've been caught. You don't need a Benz. How does a Benz help you? How does it help us? Now, we are going to pray the last forgiveness Hallelujah. for Every sin in our life that makes us wicked before God. Wicked. You know, there is a level where sin makes you a wicked person. Wicked person. Yeah. Mm. Sin makes you wicked. Mercy. Amen. Amen. So now, yes. look at Genesis mm. chapter 13. End verse 13. Hey, I've never seen a verse like that before. 13 13. Now, the men of Sodom were wicked exceedingly and sinners against the Lord. Oh. Mercy. Mercy. The men of Sodom were what? Wicked. Wicked exceedingly oh. and sinners against the Lord. Look at verse 12. Genesis 13, verse 12. 
end verse 30. And Abram settled in the land of Canaan, while saw Lot settled in the cities of the valley and moved his tents as far as Sodom. Hmm? Mm-hmm. You have moved your tents closer to where people are wicked exceedingly and sinners against the Lord. Whoa. Wow. Wow. So, you know, when you are at the receiving end of somebody's sin, at a point you realize that this person is a wicked person. Yeah. yeah. The person is wicked. That's why punishment is sometimes severe. Sometimes you really wonder why this level of punishment is, is being given. Are you listening to me? Yes. So, as we come to the end of this forgiveness for our sins, prayer, whatever makes us wicked. Mercy. You know, betrayers are wicked. Yeah. yeah. Because it's like when you find that, ah, so, <laughs> you were, you, you, oh, this was a lie. I trusted you. Well, that's why betrayal of a country is called treason. And there's no other punishment for them to be killed. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. You just go. There's no question. So, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, boys and girls, we are praying against everything Every sin that makes us wicked exceedingly. You are in the Bible school and you are doing something wicked. Maybe you are sodomizing other young men and converting them into something that they did not have or were not before they came to the Bible school. It's wickedness. That instead of coming to get something good, they've come to be converted and changed into something else. That's why people go to prison for that. Or abusing a a young girl who doesn't know her left from her right. Mm. Huh? Mm. The men of Sodom were wicked. Exceeding. Exceeding. I've never seen such a verse before. 13, 13. Huh? It's a strong verse. 1313. 13. Men of Sodom were wicked exceedingly and sinners against them. No matter what any politician says, there is wickedness that God sees. This is, is too much. It's too much. Mm-hmm. Now I heard I heard in Germany they were going to they are going to uh, or they were going to marry uh, animals. Lord, yes. They're going to marry animals. Uh, there's, a, there's a movement. There's a movement to marry your animal. Your favorite animal. Huh? It's too much. It's too much for God. Huh? <laughs> Exceedingly. So let's all rise up and pray for mercy. Mercy. Yeah. Because mm. maybe you have gone to pitch your tent near such things. Masakata barandala mamandala barandala. Jesus. Ham barandala mashandola mashandala. Honde sende vleli yokos. Father, thank you for yes. hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may take your seat if you are happy to be standing. If you are lying, sit up. If you are sleeping, wake up. Call your neighbor. Amen. Amen. And uh, it's time to arise. It is 5 a.m. Greenwich, Greenwich Mean Time. And um, I believe that is a blessing. So, um, we are going to now give a special offering in which we are going to add a prayer of forgiveness. Mm. Amen. For all these seven types of sins. No, we are not atoning for the sin. Neither, neither if you give or you don't give does it mean you'll be forgiven. No, at all. At all. No, not, that's not it at all. But I'm just trying to make every offering we give more meaningful. And more, you see, in the Bible, every offering was either a peace offering, 
a love offering, a bent offering, a wave offering. It, there was something offering, not just offering. Mm. Amen. And I believe that today's prayer, many I see like prison doors open. Amen. And many people just walking away. Amen. Yeah. Because as soon as your sins are forgiven, you are set free. It's like, go, go, go. Go away. Your life is changed. You are free to go. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So free to go offering. You are yes. free to go offering. Everybody, take out your free to go offering at this time. And we are going to pray over it as we press on. Malara sando la manjendele makabarandale ma. Horandes perequitos calagros parchaligeste. Man baredili mumboro na lambara na manana na madelede. Bedede, bedede, dedede, 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 Rombes, rombes, ramandalas. Raima de candale mokabalada. You are free to go. You are free. You are released. Amen. You are released from your Amen. sin Amen. and from the effect of your sin Amen. and from the bondage of your sin Amen. and from the effect of wickedness. Amen. Wickedness. Mercy. Makata la masha pada lura mandala babandala. O la ramandala bada baranali masandele beke barandali ba. In the name. In the name. Yes. In the name. Yes. Of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 